when do our freedoms become idols? This week on The Tease. Hey everybody, this is Father Christian here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Stewart, Florida. And um, this week we are talking about freedom. Uh, Paul in Galatians 5 verses 1, comma, 13 through 25, that's the epistle reading. For all of you who are looking in your Bible right now, God bless you. We, we need to examine this idea of what really freedom means to us. And Paul is going to challenge us, as good scripture always does, challenges us on uh, our cultural norms. And we have a cultural norm here in the States about our freedom. So we are being challenged to look at the freedoms that we practice and when those freedoms could possibly lead to the pain of others, when those can become way too self-indulgent. And this is where Paul says, okay, you want to pump the brakes because we're all given a choice in life to make our own choices. But if you choose too much the freedom of the flesh, it's going to lead you down a dark road. It might feel good at first, but it's, you know, he it's like being getting trashed. You know, you might feel like the life of the party, but in the morning you feel like poo. And there's a reason why you do, right? Nature is saying, eh, God is being like, well, was it worth it? You kind of did some stupid things last night, right? So he lists all these other things that you can read when you come to church. But then he talks about the fruit of the spirit and the fruit of the spirit being our true freedom. The true freedom that the kingdom of God gives us it does lead to joy, to peace, to, to patience, to kindness, to generosity, to self-control, the ability to have self-control. So we don't get lost, as Paul later starts talking about, into carousing, into quarreling, into anger, into licentiousness. So how do we check this? How do we find out if our freedoms that we practice, the choices that we are given as human beings, but also as Americans, might be turned into an idol. That, my friends, we'll talk about this Sunday. And that we're going to talk about in the context of mission, as this is Send Off Sunday. And we'll be sending 18 youth who have made the choice, right, the freedom to choose to say, I want to be challenged by the Holy Spirit. I want to leave the comforts that I have here of the states and go off to another country where people are not going to talk like me, act like me, look like me, and a culture be completely different than me. And allow the Spirit to just take over my heart and transform it as I engage in a whole different community. It's going to be awesome. So come and bless these folks, um, all of us as a team. We're heading out there because uh, this is what God's mission is about. It's 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 we have this freedom that's given to us, and do we want to choose the mission of God or the mission of self? So let's come root and bless these teams who said, I want to choose the mission of God and what God is up to. I want to follow that. So all that's coming up this Sunday here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church. God bless you. Peace.